Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I just want to show you how you can use the open G string and maybe the open D string when you're arranging in the key of G. Uh, it also works sometimes in uh, other keys, like in the key of C or D. But this works spe uh, sp specifically very well in the key of G. So um, here's the idea. Whenever you're playing a melody um, using the B string, Right, for example, on the key of G, here's your um, major scale. You can um, add the G string, uh, sort of like a droning G string. So for example, a certain sound that's pretty cool I think and um, also it gets even better when you start adding the bass note so uh, for example in the key of G here's your one chord your two a minor and then your three for B minor uh, technically good function is a one or a three it could be a B minor it could be a G over B which is a one and then your four so your C chord your five D this uh, like add 11 kind of sound it's pretty cool and then your sixth chord E minor E minor 7 and you got a 7 so this could be like a F sharp minor 7 flat 5 like a 7 um, half diminished or like could really be a 5 chord it's like a D slash F sharp but anyways functionally they're both trying to get to to one. Anyways, you could play it this way. So it's kind of vague um, which one it really is, but it's functioning in the same way, so it doesn't really matter. Two, three, four. And again, like I said earlier, you could include the D string also, open D string. And it's got this, uh, it's a, a bit more open, and it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's great. But anyways, I, I use this idea in a song like, uh, for example, um, Everlasting God, where I go... So it's pretty cool because uh, the melody... It's all on the B string, and so it lends itself to the use of that. The open G string. Um, I don't always use it but when it does uh, when it lends itself available then I try to use it it's just easy to come up with these like um, cool sounding uh, like with that G sound open G string sound kind of like a droning sound um, not only that I also use it for like strumming right so if I have a chord progression like G E minor C D I could go like So it works that way too. It's, you can use it for uh, strumming, not just for finger stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, it's just one way that you could add to your arrangements to make it interesting whenever you're playing in the key of G. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon. See you again next time.